Just a stone's throw from the Medway, the priest feel faithful are looking for the good times to return to Gillingham. Bournemouth travelled east knowing that victory could lift them out of the bottom two for the first time this season. And they arrived following Mark Molesley's late winner at Dagenham in midweek, while the Jill's Andy Barcham is their man in form. Our fate won't be decided today, but you know we could go a long way to hopefully clearing ourselves out of the danger. Um, we need to carry on playing and, and hopefully picking up results all between now and the end of the season. Howard suffered just one defeat in his previous seven games in charge of the Cherries and knew this would be his biggest test. Gillingham's incentive was knowing victory could lift them back into the playoff places. The home side had an early chance when Mark Bentley headed goalwards, but Shuan Jalal made a comfortable save. The Jills beat Macclesfield last weekend and were hoping to make home advantage count once more. Jalal was again called into action, this time to deny Barcham. How perhaps since things weren't going his side's way. But the Jill's defence contained any positive Bournemouth moves and it took a long clearance from Jalal to finally create a shooting opportunity. Molesley's long ranger forced a fine one-handed save from keeper Simon Royce with the home defence eventually able to clear. It was certainly a well-struck shot from the midweek match winner. The second half followed a similar pattern. When the Cherries did find a shooting opportunity, they found Royce in the right place. Marvin Bartley denied that time. Jill's boss Mark Stimson brought on top scorer Simeon Jackson and John Nutter ten minutes into the second half. And that proved to be the catalyst for the home side. Barcham collected Jackson's overhit cross. And after getting the better of Anton Robinson, pulled the ball back for Nicky Southall to fire in his first goal since October. Barcham, the two-goal hero against Macclesfield last week, turning provider. It was a fine finish from Southall. Several injuries will give Stimson cause for concern ahead of Tuesday's trip to Luton. Most notably top scorer Jackson, who was caught by Ryan Gary. In all, at least six Jills players needed treatment after the final whistle. But it was a welcome three points to lift Gillingham up to sixth. Grimsby's defeat leaves the Cherries still two points from safety, but they have back-to-back -back home games to come. There wasn't a lot between the two sides. I thought we did ever so well first half. Um, Gillingham came back at the second half and made for an entertaining game. No, very few clear-cut chances, though, from either side. Um, and that's the thing that we're disappointed with, that we couldn't really break Gillingham down. Jimmy and Jackson come on and done well, but my left-back, John Nutter, come on and uh, really got the ball down and played. And put some decent balls into Jackson, who was lively. So uh, there's a combination of those two today. The substitutions worked. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but uh, it was effective today and uh, it was a good three points.